<laughs> oh, you gotta love fucking high stakes poker, man. Holy shit. All right, stable sweats. Poof, 10k. Nice, just what I wanted. Oh, look at that, it's fucking bounty daddies. Three of them. It's the fucking bounty, bounty daddy convention. Was this a study? No, just fucking buy in, mate. Just do it like the old gods. The fucking thunder gods. Definitely some upside to that. Mm. Okay, I guess I'll go a bit aggressive. Thank you very much, mates. As you can see, I don't need luck. I just need opponents like my friend Nacho here. <laughs> Whoa! 800? What did Coco Yombo eat this morning? Wow, I want some of that. Does the fact that it's a bounty change that decision at all? Holy shit. Whoa, was that a value bet in a 3 bet pot? Alright, that would be so fucking insanely gangster. Wow, we've seen some gangster shit already today. Interesting bet. I'm not gonna have any fucking patience for chat pros today. I swear to God, I'm just timing out for the rest of the session. I mean, who knows? Maybe at hearts, you know. All right, good luck, us guys. Thirty big blinds, ten thousand dollar bounty builder. Jesus. Okay then. I take it back. This is amazing. <clears throat> Ay ay ay, bad river. Fuck, I actually feel like I have the bottom of my range now. I'm gonna bluff. Fuck it, he has some queen x, that's very upsetting. Do I have the bottom? I think it's pretty gangster bet to be honest. I need to save the sense. Oh damn. Man, I really think he has King Jack too. Oh, man, my bets. I love my bets. That's so unfortunate, man. Oh, he won a big one, huh? That's nice, though.
20 fan big lines. Nice. At this fucking store. All right, I'm gonna call them right now. I'm so fucking mad. Nice fucking river. Oh, it's in a tank. It's gonna go in from the big lines. Yeah. Easy shove. Good luck us. GG. Oh my god. This is fun, fun, fun. You know what's the worst thing ever? I just got huge FOMO. I just got huge FOMO watching that shit on my watching that shit myself. Alright, you know what? I wanna register it with uh I wanna register it with overlay, but realistically guys, this storm is 100 percent gonna overlay, so I might as well do it getting under the gun almost in the big blinds. Blinds go up as well now. All my big blinds, that's amazing. Alright, DJ and fun enacted. Um I haven't been DJ funding a lot. I used to play like 5Ks, 2Ks. I used to spend like 100K a scoop on uh, DJ and fund. I think I've played maybe two tournaments where I break even or worse. So I feel like you guys, I feel like I owe you guys uh, a DJ and fund. I owe you guys a DJ and fund. There's also not a whole lot of tournaments I can DJ and fund on. Um, because... I'm not, I'd rather re-enter this tournament at 20 big blinds with how fun it is than play the 10k Super Tuesday. Holy shit, we're actually playing the 10k again. You guys know me. It's a bit iffy in a bounty builder, obviously. Like, this is a lot more degen. This is a lot more degen than, uh, than it would be in a freeze out. And a freeze out, this would actually be okay for me. Also because we'd be close to the money, I'd be short so you uh, negate uh, uh, an ROI disadvantage, you know, versus the other uh, the other players. But in a bounty it's tough because I have no full equity as a short stack, so it, there's a lot more variance. Also, I don't cover, lots of the bounties are out, I don't cover a lot of people as you can see, so it, it really requires a run, but it's like offset marketing budget for me. Oh, we have a jack. Holy shit, we're all in. Yes! Oh my god, I feel so good to go for that spot. Oh my god, I just went for it. Oh man, they're super deep. Short stack in the big blinds. Small blinds only has 40 bigs. I figured that he's gonna th have, uh, you know, he his normal three betting range, but that includes a lot of... Uh, Whew. Wow. Wow. Maybe I'll run over put the hard rate monitor on. I know you guys will like that. All right, it's amazing. We're all over this boards. It's actually really fucking scary that he does this. That's fucking scary. Maybe it's good that I didn't hit there. All right, rolling.
Uh huh. Uh huh. You see that? Fucking rides. Right, 11 left for my 12k bubble. Hard rate spiked to 80. That's a 85. That's a spike these days, mate. You'd be passing out. Actually, your heart rate would be normal because you guys would fold the ace-five suited on the gun. It's gonna be interesting blind versus blind in spots. I have like 27 bigs. I'm getting into the range into range of big amount of big blinds where he's just gonna rip some hands, you know. So I'm 12 out of 14, five spots away from my twelve thousand dollar bubble. Thirteen thousand dollar bubble and infinite viewers on uh, Saturday. Okay, there's our uh, hero call cards. God damn it. Boom. Okay. Okay, okay. I would say like I would shove it beneath 20 bigs. The it's it's a bit tight, but as you saw in the previous hand. Nice river. Yeah, the five six of value, but from half tackle earlier, of course. Pretty nice.
Ah, man, fuck off. That's so insane. That's so insane. It's such an insanely narrow range. Oh, man, fuck off, dude. That's such a sick narrow range. God damn. That's so frustrating. Man. Oh, well. I made a light value bet. But I think it's a pretty cool value bet. Let's see. Let me save it. Uh, it's just disappointing. God damn it. I hate to see it. I feel like I'm up against like a backdoor hard draw or king queen that's just gonna check back the river. I think that's okay. Man, four people need to bust it so much. How much does the shortest stacks have? 14, What a tough spot. Oh, if he has like two big blinds more, I can make it like a normal raise size of four or something, right? Nice send though, but fucking hell. When there's a guy with five big blinds behind and a 200 FK bounty, pre flop racer in there, I don't know. Maybe I should just lead the. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe I just need to lead the turn 30% to avoid exactly this, you know? I don't really see the point of betting. His range is pretty strong from the big blind, right? But he has like 5x, 5x bluffs, flushes, and queens. And I don't think a bet accomplishes anything against all those four, right? So. I think it's good. I think that makes sense. Like I said, a bet, a bet just doesn't make sense. Because if he has a 5, he's folding. If he has a bluff, he's folding. If he has a flush, I'm fucked. If he has a queen, he just check calls, right? So then all of a sudden, they are like the only thing I can do is check. My fucking god. My fucking god. <laughs> oh, you gotta love fucking high stakes poker, man. Holy shit. Mm. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Oh my god, what a sweat! What a sicko too! Fucking Dex, man! Oh 
Oh my god, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. It's kind of weird of him to say like, oh yeah, the Aces behind before that when I when I made a really strong bubble play versus him, you know. <laughs> I mean, sorry, but I have to say it. Oh, that's nice of him. Just feels weird, you know, like I win a small pop with Aces. The King's obviously super nice, but like I feel like the Ace-9 I did fucking blood, sweat and tears, you know what I mean? We cash for 16 and a half thousand, so I got three quarters of my buy-ins back. Amazing. Oh my god, this is gonna be some fucking day Saturday. Holy shit. Alright. So we have Nacho, one of the best deep stack players in the world behind us. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not fucking good. Oh yeah, yeah, he's one of the best cash game players on the site, so. Prepare yourself. Alright, then we're off. We have 93 bigs for the next six minutes. We are guaranteed $17,000. Next money jump, 1500 so very small. Unless we do the knocking out, there's some juicy bounties about, but... Oh, like you can win this, I for sure fucking can. This would be great though, Half Tackle just taking out some people to my right. I'm here for it. Final table stacked, yeah. It's one of the toughest final tables you'll ever see. Especially in this particular instance because I have some cash game animals to my left. So there's tournament animals and cash game animals. It's a very deep final table, so it's very relevant. It's also for me hard in a way. So they're gonna make ICM mistakes, almost guaranteed. I mean, they do play a lot of high rollers. Yudasov has been playing a lot of tournaments, so it's really hard. But um, one thing I will say is that it's also harder for me because I don't know if they play like on an ICM based strat because that's not necessarily something they might have studied a lot or something, you know. Okay, Fabritz, do or die. Nice. That's so 1400 for us. Also the smallest bounty at the table, so not too bad. Graf Tackle now is a bigger stack than I do, which is, is you know, slightly a problem, but laddering is good. Uh, so we're now guaranteed 14-4. We're guaranteed 13. So 14-4 plus our bounty, 3075. Uh, so it's 18k. Alright, 200k first. First blood's already drawn. That's always kind of nice. I don't know why it's a bit maybe it's a bit of a noob mentality or something that it's kind of nice that you're not first you know i don't know it just feels like blood has been drawn and that that, that just feels good sort of opens up the game or something so we want as many people to bleed chips to the chip leader as possible especially because the chip leader is across the board for us the one thing is though i will say that if these two stacks bust all of a sudden a chip leader has position on me but you know you can't have it fucking all next money jumps 5k by the way the next one after 6k, so it's getting more serious. It's so nice that I cover everything, everyone behind me. That makes such a big difference. That's why I want all the chips to go to that side, you know. Gonna get three bet a lot less. Like there's there's always gonna be hands in, in bounty builders where there's always gonna be hands in bounty builders where people can either, you know, where people think to either three bet or flat, and you can go both ways. Um, when you cover somebody, you'll usually go for the more aggressive option. Okay, let's uh, barrel here. Uh, reason being, I can put a lot of pressure. I can really make hands like ace nine or something fold. Sets should also be flat calling, I think, in their spots. Because there's just not many natural draws. So, shells become way too strong. But I think that we're not doing ourselves a service by, by uh, checking here. Like, they're not ever supposed to have ace-king. They could have some ace-queen, for instance, but that's already the max. Holy shit. Okay, so now it's up to Lady Fortuna. Uh, please have threes or sixes, guys, and not ace-x of diamonds. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. 
Holy shit. Getting there was most important, and now we just need to... Uh, they have ace-8, ace-6, ace-3, three sixes, so... I would hope that they would have called by now with uh, not flush. I forgot to put on the heart rate monitor. Could you not? I'll go do it though. Because I understand how big it is during the spot. Boom. Boom! 2.5k in the bag. For bounties. Look at that. Beautiful chip leading. Wow. Wait, somebody else busted? Wait, what? Huh? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're second out of six. Take it, man. Take the chip lead. Six people left. That's 25k. We want to see. Okay, so we're over 30k now. Hey, that's cool. Uh, that's good. He's going to check his board a lot. He does not do it capped, so that means that he can still have king, queen, ace, king, etc. Uh, it's important for me to check back hands that can call turns. I think Jack 10 falls in that category. Um, because also, if they check raise, I can't defend with Jack 10. Not very comfortable. Still gonna check back because I also, you know. I don't think that on a 9, he's all of a sudden uh, capped when he checks again. Criminally vulgar, thank you for the sub. Nice, another out. Holy shit. Five left. 34k, guys, we went, we, we, we went 40,000 already. 40,000. Jesus, this is the deepest I've ever played. Man, these pots are so big because these guys are good, you know? The higher stakes you play, the bigger the, the pot sizes are. If you look at low stakes, and also look at how like perfectly they do it, right? He just gets to the river with uh, 40 big blinds, he can bet pot all in. It's just all so good. There he goes. 7, 6, 9, 8, boom, that's gone! You win at Tate, whoa! What the hell, there's 4 people left. Mate, 45k. <laughs> 45k, we have 60 big blinds as the smallest stack. Oh, what a dream. Mirt is saying I won with her favorite hand, Jack suited. Wow. Alright, we're gonna bet again. It's a really bad card, holy shit. But it's a card that I guess I could check a lot as well. For balance with like a king or something. Or... But obviously it's the worst card in the deck for us. Okay. Coco Yumbo has won 56k in bounties already. It's crazy. 22, 16, 22, 6, 56. Uh, so king or 9 for a straight for me. Um, I'm just gonna bet. I have the bottom of my range. I block straights. I need some bluffs, right? Clearly he's not gonna fold any ace, but nice, 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 nice. All right, so Nacho is obviously gonna be the target. <clears throat> Sub 50, 50 big, uh, 45 big blind stack. I mean, it's still so big though. It's like, there's 0% in Nacho's, on top of that he's world class. But there's 0% in that guy's head that where he thinks like, oh no, I only have 43 bigs. Thank you, Bounty. Yeah, I mean, imagine, you know, you're gonna get in spots if I, if I were to be the one to knock Nacho out. I win 26k on the spot because of the bounty and the money jump. But you know, can't be too greedy with your wishes. Laddering up, playing 300 would be amazing. 300 there would be a 34k money jump.
Well, it's clear what our objective is here. Nice, really nice. I don't want to get blasted on on the turn. His, his bluffs also is going to have a lot of showdown value, right? Like, if he's going to have hands like King 10 offsuit. Because he's a gangster, so... Okay, there's going to be lower straight draws, there's going to be lower flush draws. Uh, my backdoor hearts are also more concealed in terms of value. Uh, king might be good, so pretty easy call here, even though it's an overbet. Um, nice to hit the river. Uh, you can have lower flush draws, of course. Uh, you can also have boats with this turn sizing. So there's no raising here, that's for sure. Very nice. Whew! This sure as hell ain't no folding either, so nice. Wow, 150 bigs. Okay, small blind is stomach blind with snap call now. Alright. Spade. Spade or four or three. Oh! Oh! $26,000 fucking flush draw, my god. Holy shit. I think we're so deep that he's gonna check raise even some deuce x and some spades. So at this point I'm sort of like protection betting my hands versus weaker sevens and three x. Hands with one spades. That's a fucking pits river, but I do think that we win or chop enough to check. And if we don't win or chop, he's calling. So yeah, I don't really see the point of uh, bluffing there. Damn it! God, that's so annoying. 16k money jump. What's the haps, guys? What's the haps? We have four people left. Fifty-six thousand dollars in bounties. Wow. That's all good, you know. Just let's just win the tournament, lol. Let's just win the tournament. It's healthy, it's natural. It's even vegan. If you want, you know, if you care about that. You know, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, I want Nacho, I just want everybody out as soon as possible, like at this point it's, it's too greedy to just, unless like, Kokoyama is like 5 big blinds or 10 big blinds, then I would want to be the one that squares off against them for it, but um, generally like just taking the money jumps, the fast, especially four handed, right, the faster we get it's up the better, I mean, the payout is 45k now, two people bust, we get 50k more, 50 I feel like we're gonna get a check or like 30 bigs. Yeah, there we go. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You know that that bet is coming anyway? 
You know how sick you know how sick that is? This is insane. I'm telling you right now, this bet on the river is coming regardless of the five or not. Dude, that's insane. That is so annoying. Holy shit. Fucking look at this. Oh man, that was perfect too. Check raise a flop, check, bet, check call. And oh man, I was so fucking aware of that spot. Holy shit. Holy shit. What a fucking momentum change. Look at that. If I have 4 million, I have 8. Wow. Oh, guys, that's pretty gross. Queens. This is good. We just got two out of two times in a row, huh? All right. These are two of the most disgusting beats I've had in my entire tournament career because this is one of the biggest spots in my entire tournament career. So, especially this one is just fucking great. Queens versus sevens, 10k final table for a 10k bounty and a 60k money jump. Okay. All right. Huge spot. I mean, the worst case scenario would be if Grafta call, calls and wins, of course. But if he falls, he's short right next to me with 13k in bounties. And if he calls and loses, he's out. It's also great. All right, so now clear short stack in uh, Grafta call. Still 45k from the tournament. Money jump will be 16k plus a bounty if we knock somebody out. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Okay. 20k in bounties. 61k guaranteed. That's 80 more than 80,000. That really 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 ties the room together. Wow, I was nervous there. Holy shit. <sighs> All right, so guys, um, $34,000 money jump. $34,000 money jump from now. It's nice. It's nice. It's also just mentally nice to win that to win that bounty and to have that money jump because like in your head, like let's say like post tournament, right? In your head, you're going to be so salty about that hand. That that queens for sevens is going to be so 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 rough. So so much to deal with. Wow. Um so much to deal with in your head psychologically um if you if you end up not lettering anything right now it's just a, another hand along the lines but kings versus ace queen is really nice four-handed right for it to hold is really nice him having a 13k bounty so now you're offsetting it with other stuff you know instead of just like wow Oh my god, the things that go through your head when you flop this hand. 
It's a really complicated situation because I have a lot of ace high that I limp call. Uh, I have a lot of ace high that I limp call. But I also shove a lot. I'm gonna need to roll. No sense. I mean, it's that, I mean, this exact spot we studied this week, right? And I said, 20, specifically 20 big blinds deep, I said to BBZ, I think that uh, the ASEX component of our range is even. And he's like, no, once this play raises and you limp call, uh, that means that he gets the advantage on the ASEX uh, component. And you might say, so why do you call? Because that means that he's going to bluff more often, right? Just to give you an idea of how insane the spot is and this, these money jumps. If we lose one player, this is my second biggest score ever on Twitch. <laughs> okay, I saw. If, uh, let's just hope they don't trap, you know, that would be fucking crazy. My god, is this guy fucking immortal with sevens or what? Dude, that's so insane. Oh my god. That's so insane. Second time I'm all in against them for insane, insane amount of money. That's head scratching, mate. Like sometimes you have the fucking guy at the final table, huh? Just can't fucking kill him. <sighs> oh, these bluffs are huge. These are some big fucking bluffs. Imagine if they shoved over the top with they say to not just flat it. He would have beaten us both. I would have gotten second. The, the tournament would have just been over in some fucking insane hand. But I don't I don't know if he ISOs if I if I even have a call there though. I really don't. Because like if he wins the pot and I lose versus them, that's such an insane insane loss for me. I'm fucking so dialed in, like playing so well. I mean, I know I am. I've had so many good marginal spots on this final table. Oh, I just need to close it. So in the satellite, yeah, you guys would be right. see it uh, would he ever oh my god so... Yo, Carney Jarrett, what up, bro? All right, here we go. Oh, 
I play very heavily uh, check based here. That's just unfortunate. What can you do? Not much is the answer. Frustrating, obviously, because losing. I mean, I have to bluff there. I can't play it any other way. But um, losing hands versus them is very costly because then they uh, cover me, right? Salty that I just lose every single in versus him, but it is really nice. It is a really nice score. It is really nice. We cashed for eighty thousand fucking dollars. Oh my god, what a run! Holy fuck, man! I feel I played out of my mind. Flatted two pairs versus straights. Found all my bluffs. Made correct hero calls. Man, made really big river bluffs in three bed pots. I got I got two outlets and two and two really really big key hands that were 60 and 80 big blinds. Oh, nice setup versus half tackle with kings versus ace queen to capture that bounty, but bittersweet, bittersweet, especially because this player just ran like absolute fucking gods versus us, which sucks. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I shoved threes a few hands earlier. It's the same kind of spot where I want to shove, so it's not much uh, to debate in terms of when to do it and when not to do it in that scenario. But, but hey, you know, played our heart out. Eighty thousand dollars is really good, so nothing, uh, nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to not be happy with.